Hi, I'm Caden Pierce, and I'm here to introduce you to the wearable intelligence system. We're building a number of tools to help improve users' cognitive functioning, improve things like memory, knowledge, social intelligence, sense-making, and more with a suite of intelligence amplification tools. At the same time, we're building a software framework to make it easy to develop new wearable smart glasses applications and to run new wearables experiments for research. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit about how the system works and what it can do. The display that you're seeing overlaid on the screen is the exact same display that I'm seeing on my smart glasses. This is the home page of the wearable intelligence system. The wearable intelligence system uses voice as its main mode of interface. And so everything that you say is displayed on the screen. This is also a use case in itself called live life captions. A lot of research has shown that when humans have access to multimodal information, such as a lecture or a video where there's spoken information as well as a transcription of that text, that they can understand and retain that information better. And so this use case is bringing that possibility into the real world. We can also use this interface to ask natural language queries. I could say something like, wake word, what's 100 times 17 divided by pi? I could also ask something that has to do with knowledge. Wake word, what's the distance from Toronto to Vancouver? If I'm in a conversation and we want information about a specific person, place, or thing, I could just pull up that Wikipedia page overlaid on my vision by saying, wake word, Wikipedia, smart glasses. As you can see, overlaid on my vision is an image and text and title pulled from the Wikipedia page. Now, these are all ways to pull up information live while in a conversation or while thinking through something. And while they could be done on your phone, the idea is to make them so quick and seamless that they become a natural part of our thinking processes. If I'm in a situation where I can't understand the language of the person I'm trying to communicate with, the wearable intelligence system will translate what they're trying to say in their language into my base language and overlay it on my vision. For example, I could say, wake word, switch modes, translate Spanish. Hola, señora, ¿cómo está? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Wake word, switch modes, live life captions. As you could see on the previous mode, anything that was said in Spanish will be translated into English and overlaid on my vision. Many of the previously demonstrated use cases are focused on pulling in information into your conversation and into your thinking using text queries. But it's often the case that you don't know a word for what you're trying to search for. In those cases, you could use visual search. For example, I could say, wake word, what am I looking at? The view now switches to a live view of the viewfinder, the view that the camera on my glasses has of the environment. So for example, if I were to take a image of this instrument on my desk by tapping the side of the glasses, it will search the web for similar images. Now, as the final filter, I can search through those images and pick which one looks the most like what I just took a picture of and it will tell me exactly what it is. So I think the first one matches and it's an Oculus Quest 2. Now I know what the definition of the thing was that I searched for. The wearable intelligence system has an effective computing mode whereby the point of view camera is used to capture information, nonverbal communication from the social environment and communicate that to the user. I could switch to that mode by saying, wake word, switch modes, social mode. Command success. Now, if I communicate positive body language that so shows low stress and high confidence, then the stress reading is going to go down as it's averaged over time. But if I switch to body language and a way of saying things and, and appearing that has high stress, then that's going to be read by the system over time as it averages out. 
Every single functionality that I've demonstrated in this video is functional and working now. All of this can be used immediately using the wearable intelligence system. The system was originally created by MX Labs and has recently been open sourced and opened up to the community. So if you have any pair of Android smart glasses, you can also run all of these functionalities. So that's a brief overview of the wearable intelligence system. We want to build this out to be 10 times and 100 times more useful in improving our intelligence. And to do so, we need a team. If you're interested in working with us, especially for open source contribution and collaboration, please reach out. Further, we're looking to partner with hardware companies who are making the next generation of smart glasses. If your company is building the future of Interface, reach out with the link down below. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out the wearable intelligence system. This first video has been a brief and to the point overview, but stay tuned for the next few videos where we're gonna use it in the real world and have some fun.